This land is your land and this land is mine. Hey guys, this is Linda and um I'm just going to chime in with everybody else in my support of the truckers um, strike in October and I think that everybody should make a video also now I've, I've, I'm going to leave three people I've seen their videos so far and um, I think I'm awake are you I just I just saw hers that's joy I'm gonna leave their links um, she listed everybody who's made a video and I think that everyone should make a video um, the true Ray has done awesome 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 God ta thumbs up man you, you put it in a different perspective and you know I love you and you're Canadian and the I understand that the Canadian truckers are joining in um, how awesome is that but how disappointed I was last night before I went to bed to look on the trucker, some of the websites that had posted this, to see some Americans say, this would never work. I don't know if you're paid trolls or what. Um, some people were even complaining about how slow trucks go. Well, I have to tell you that they have governors on them. I know from my boyfriend when he worked, uh, he is now an unemployed truck driver, um, but um, they actually govern the trucks here, the, the company he worked for, a corporate company, I would like to call them corporate engines, um, at 59 miles per hour so that they could not, um, if they press the gas pedal all the way down, it would not go past 59 miles an hour. Imagine, you know, driving a truck where the speed limit's 70 miles an hour and people are flipping you off, yet your truck's only governed to, to go 59 miles per hour. Or 61. I think they finally raised it to 61. Because in some places in our state, the speed limit is 70 miles an hour. We also have, um, I, I just wanted to kind of clue you in on all the stuff truckers have to pay for. And yes, the big corporations, if you work for a corporate engine, they'll pay for it, but they underpay the truck drivers. And they work like slaves. Um, and the independents have to pay for this. So I'm going to leave some stuff in Washington State. I was amazed from every little thing they have to pay annually. Um, and on the tonnage, oh my goodness, I don't know how I would even be able to afford that. Um, you guys are remarkable for what you do and what you pay. And I have to tell you, I'm going to also leave a gas chart of how much taxes that you and the truckers have to pay um, and it's per state and you can go check on that um, you can just click on your state so um, our state's actually raising the revenue tax slowly and we're going to pay more on gas I think we are one of the highest states at this point on gasoline um, with California of course um, also I, I wanted to bring up um, our state is in and has made just thirty-three billion dollars in revenue. What is revenue? I'm going to leave the definition. They say it's from new businesses, but there's more people laid off than ever before here in the state. Also, um, there is also more displaced people in this state right now, and I think that's across the United States than ever, be ever before. Um, I live in one of the poorest counties. Uh, they're trying to take over with Agenda 21 in this state, totally. So um, I don't know how come they're in the revenue, except they've raised taxes on everything from cigarettes uh, to liquor, and now they're lobbying on how much the the legalization, how much tax they can put on marijuana, because I'm in a state where it is legal, and they're about to open stores where I'm sure the marijuana is going to skyrocket, and, and our state and the federal government will be making lots of money. So, what I want you to do is... Um, Support the truckers because I'm going to leave you some links that will amaze you on how much they have to pay in just this state alone. Plus, we have ferries, and um, they have to call ahead to tell if they're going to be on a ferry. We have a lot of little islands and stuff out here that stuff needs to get to. Now, if you are one of them corporate people I watched last night saw writing and arguing on websites about this, I'm going to tell you to slow down. Say that I, if I would say to the mechanics who work for those corporate 
corporations to pull some kind of wire and let all them trucks just stop and not leave a yard. Come on. I mean, this is your truckers are people too. We are all people. And something has got to shut the empire down. Now, I did read one comment where he was a trucker that he said it doesn't matter because we have underground roads, but he's going to call in sick. He actually drives in one of those tunnels underground, and we know they can go through several states. If you've ever even seen the videos I have, I'm not going to link to it. All I'm saying right now is those people who are corporate, they work for the corporations, they're going to slow down. They're going to, that governor on their truck's going to go 10 miles an hour, or they're going to call in sick. Now, if the corporate people can do that, the ones that go under the tunnels, surely you that drive on the road can do that. I mean, go very slow or have that mechanic pull a wire or just pull over, um, you know, at one of them way stations if you don't have a responder on your truck. And you know what a responder is if you're a trucker. If you don't have a responder on your truck, pull over at that station while you're doing your little 40 miles an hour and just stand there and scratch your head and wonder, wonder what's wrong with my truck. As the, if you're in Washington State, that state patrol will probably come over and look you over and stuff because they service with humility is their motto. So let them humiliate you, but while they're humiliate you, while they're doing that to you, you just be laughing in the back of your mind knowing that you're in solidarity with the truckers. Just, just stand there confused, yank a few wires, say somebody must have sabotaged my truck. Because the people of America are not going to consume on those three days. We will stand up. And for all you trolls who are on those hateful sites saying hateful things, if you are not going to stand with something and, and these good truckers that are doing this, then, you, then you'll, you'll take anything. I mean, I'm serious. You'll take anything. How does our state get $33 billion extra revenues when we're one of the, when we don't have no jobs here? I mean, just, you got to scratch your head. They're sucking it out of us. They've already sheared the sheep. Now they're going for our skin. Taxes are skyrocketing. So imagine if you're an independent trucker paying the taxes that we pay on gas just as regular consumer. It's almost impossible to live. So I'm kind of a little, I'm doing a little different video, but I do love you all. I'm going to leave the links to everything I just told you about. And I saw that I am our waker. You put a list of videos that were up. I'm going to send you to her page, to the True Rage page page and the God ties page because he, he shows you like look at your hand as a as the interstate system which was an awesome way to do it the veins in your hand I mean if you could shut down and clog up those arteries man you can make this this empire system have an aneurysm and I'm all for that because this empire must fall and we must be rebuilt on some kind of unity. And I'm not feeling very well. And if I sound bitter, because some people will say that I'm not, I was just very disappointed in some of the comments I saw that we can't do nothing. Well, if you feel that way and you want to be enslaved all your life, move along and let us take care of it. Because obviously there's some of us that are ready to get rid of the empire system. Now, I do love you all. If I'm singing to the choir, you know I love you. But it was for those that I read that disappointed me, saying that, that there's no way to do this. Well, there absolutely is a way, but it takes unity. Peace, love, and truth. And Linda's out. And I do love you all.